13 common red flags in a relationship to look out for. What are red flags in a relationship? Let's start by understanding. And how can you identify them? And most importantly, what should you do if your relationship has really reached an unhealthy state? Hi, this is me, Jyotika Bedi, founder of Happiness is Love. We make relationships better. Human connection is an important part of our lives, isn't it? Feeling loved and having a sense of connection contributes to our emotional and mental health and well-being. But not all relationships make our lives better. Some relationships don't serve us. They're not good for our well-being. They damage our health, our well-being, instead of making it better. Some can even be toxic. And it's important to recognize what these red flags really are. So here's your guide to navigating common red flags in your relationships. Let's first understand what are red flags. Red flags are, simply put, warning signs and signals that indicate unhealthy or manipulative behavior. They are not always recognizable at first, which is part of what makes them so mysterious and dangerous. However, they tend to grow bigger and become more problematic over time. Red flags are often used in conversations around toxic or abusive relationships. Toxicity can prevent itself in any close relationship, friends, colleagues, family members, or even partners. Red flags can be even signs of narcissism, aggression, victimization, or even abusive behavior. By becoming aware of some common red flags, you can then avoid getting too involved in a toxic relationship. When you encounter relationship red flags, it's a good time for you to stop, pause, and reflect on the dynamics that you really share with that particular person. Often toxic behavior is subtle. It creeps up on us, especially in moments of weakness. And if we cannot fight against it, it can take over our lives, our health, our well-being. This can also lead to both ourselves and those around us getting wounded, getting hurt and damaged. Cultivating self-awareness around red flags and toxic behaviors can help us manage them and avoid them altogether. So what are the 13 red flags in a relationship for you to look out for? Knowing how to identify red flags is the key. By the time I don't know the signs, how will I know what to do? So before you can address red flags, you need to first understand what they look like and why it is so damaging, why it is so dangerous. Unfortunately, some people start to accept red flags just as a part of the package rather than warning, ding, signals. They then become vulnerable to emotional, psychological, and sometimes even physical harm. So let's look at these 13 common red flags in men, women, non-binary individuals that can arise in any relationship. By learning what they look like, feel like, and why they are harmful, you can put an end to this toxicity before too much damage is done. Number one, overly controlling behavior. Overly controlling behavior is a common red flag in our relationships. People that try to control your every movement, your every decision or beliefs or are more concerned about what they want rather than what is best for you. In a healthy relationship, there is always a balance and understanding around our differences. It's a balance of give and take. Not one person controls the other person's actions. Number two, lack of trust. Trust is an important foundation in any healthy relationship. A major sign of an unstable relationship is when partners, friends, colleagues or family members distrust you. Of course, 
we all have doubts sometimes including me i've been married for 21 years but they shouldn't stop us from trusting the person in our lives to do the right thing healthy relationships require trust on both sides number 3 feeling feelings of low self esteem the people closest to you should build you up not break you down they should be your greatest cheerleaders when you love someone you are committed to supporting and uplifting them if you do not feel that support from your partner your family or friends something needs to change number 4 physical emotional or mental abuse physical emotional and mental abuse is undeniably a red flag in any relationship physical abuse is very easy to pick up but emotional and mental abuse can be just as damaging in the long run as physical abuse and is hard to spot sometimes and just like physical abuse mental and emotional abuse can cause a lot of even mental health issues Nobody ever has a right to use you as a scapegoat for their own problems or their own unresolved traumas. Those should be dealt with constructively and fairly. Abuse, I believe, is n- is never acceptable. It's not a response to any problem. Number 5, substance abuse. Substance abuse is a clear red flag. It indicates that a person is struggles with impulse control and indulges in self destructive habits depending on the substance any relationship can quickly turn to toxic if an addiction is present having said that substance abuse is an illness and your loved one may need help and help now is available if you or someone you know in your life is currently struggling reach out to substance abuse and mental health services for help because help is available all you need to do is just reach out number 6 narcissism narcissistic personality disorder is a mental condition that indicates self obsession and misplaced sense of importance we're using this word very liberally but it comes across as delusions and although it may even be clinical that's why the right di- diagnosis is important these people are breaking away from their reality and might f- feel that you know narcissistic people really believe that the whole world really revolves around them and if this is a clinical issue then you need help and if anybody threatens this belief turmoil and chaos tends to follow because narcissistic people don't have empathy or the ability to understand their own problem being emotionally involved with a narcissist tick ego driven person can be exhausting and traumatizing especially if it's clinical the needs will always be considered to be more important than yours so what do you need to do you need to seek help number 7 anger management issues if someone you are close to has an anger management issue you might feel alone hopeless threatened or even unsafe during a conflict lack of emotional regulation is a definite red flag in any relationship because it can be very traumatizing for you we all need to feel comfortable enough with our partners or friends to tackle difficult subjects without fearing our own safety anyone man or women irrespective of the gender who uses anger as an intimidation tactic is displaying toxic behavior number 8 codependency codependency always presents itself as a toxic trait codependent relationship can be a passive pattern that causes issues such as emotional exhaustion and increased mental load codependency or relationship addiction happens when two people rarely on each other exclusively rely rarely on each other exclusively for emotional psychological and even physical support this alienates them from the other and in, in the relationship and stunts personal growth and self development number 9 inability to resolve conflict in a healthy way people that avoid conflict might think that they are protecting the relationship from getting ruined but in the end it only results in long-winded passive ag- aggression which again is unhealthy 
and uncom- as uncomfortable it can be in facing constructive conflict it is a crucial element of all relationships and is a skill that can be learned healthy conflict resolution techniques are there we have made many videos around it so that you can learn how to resolve your conflict in a healthy way without leading to resentment and wasted energy number 10 constant jealousy it is natural to feel jealous when your partner or your friend is spending a lot of time with others it's normal however that is not an excuse to let it cloud your judgment or for you to act passive aggressive withdrawn or sarcastic someone who is constantly jealous of your connection with others cares more about what they want rather than your happiness this is a fact number 11 glass lighting gas lighting is a common manipulation ta- tactic and we made a whole video around it and is a big red flag in any relationship it is an insidious form of emotional abuse in which the manipulator will make you question your own sanity or your own judgments victims of gas lighting are made to feel guilty regardless of whether or not they did anything wrong gaslighting is a clear red flag in any relationship and we made a whole video around it please go check out on our happiness is love the love channel on youtube number 12 lack of emotional intelligence emotional intelligence is the ability to perceive and manage our emotions in a healthy way people with low levels of emotional intelligence are unable to sometimes pick up on their own feelings and are find it difficult to empathize with others what does this do this often results in unnecessary conflict or forms of manipulation which only hurts the relationship 13 negatively affecting a relationship with family and friends for many of us our family and friends provide an important sense of belonging and a important sense of community it's a major red flag if someone in your life is negatively affecting your relationship with those you love because in healthy relationships and healthy relationships should never come as across where it, there is too much control or there is too much negativity so what are some red flags versus yellow flags yellow flags are similar to red flags only slightly less severe A red flag is a clear warning sign. In contrast, yellow flags indicate a problem area that needs to be addressed. Just one problem area which needs to be handled. There are bound to be imperfections and areas of growth and improvement in any relationship because no one is perfect, no relationship is perfect. However, no relationship should cause more harm than good. Yellow flags are signals that point toward towards patterns or behaviors that need to be shifted in in order for the relationship to flower for the relationship to flourish for example a red flag might be when a partner forbids you from going to events without them a yellow flag could be them becoming grumpy or angry when you don't listen to them when you do that So yellow flags are not necessarily a reason to end a relationship. However, they require mutual work, mutual acknowledgement and inputs from both sides, a middle ground to resolve this particular issue. Anything about a partner, a friend, a colleague or family member that has the potential to cause friction over the course of your relationship is possibly or probably a yellow flag for you to work on. If something about someone in your life directly threatens your health, your well-being and your peace of mind, then it is a red flag. Not every relationship problem is detrimental, but many of them can pile up and create an avalanche if left unchecked for too long. Knowing the difference between these yellow and red flags can help you identify the right course of action for you for your relationship so how to approach red flags in a relationship like with any delicate social situation addressing red flags in a relationship require tact honesty self care because taking care of yourself has to be a top priority 
if a relationship is coming between you and your peace of mind you and your happiness something needs to change until the time you don't take action nothing will change if you notice some red flags in your relationship here's how you can approach it and this is what i'm also applying in my life and learning every day number 1 acknowledge your own needs you should never have to sacrifice your needs all the time for someone else's yes a, a compromise is healthy but it isn't worth it if it comes at the cost of your subjective well-being there has to be a balance acknowledging your needs your wants with a self care plan is your priority number 1 this can give you insight into what you really want out of your life and it can encourage you to speak up stand up and be more direct about things that are important to you things that you want to change because nothing changes till you change and that's why the first step has to be taken by you number 2 communicate communication is the lifeblood of all healthy relationships healthy communication without the freedom to express how you truly feel honestly and openly very little progress can happen and i know it's hard it's difficult sometimes a partner or friend is unaware of how their actions may be impacting you so you need to do the hard work to communicate with them openly respectfully and honestly about what needs to change number 3 avoid being overly emotional there is nothing wrong with having or having emotional expressions but not using the right emotional regulation skills can cloud your judgment and trigger ir- reash- re- irrational responses when tackling a difficult subject within your relationship maintaining a calm mentality can help you reach a solution more effectively and kindly as possible so try to balance your logic with your emotions it's okay to cry but seek professional help as well if you struggle with being too overly emotional there is so much help available and you can seek external support there are enough clinical psychologists and social workers out there to help people who are going through a difficult time or or, or a part of a difficult phase in their life to get the right support and guidance if you are dealing with an issue within your relationship and you are currently feeling under equipped to handle it seeking professional help can make a tremendous difference as a counseling psychologist i can assure you number 5 be honest with yourself managing a series of red flags with your friend your partner or a colleague is going to be much more challenging if you're not honest with yourself if you're not honest about the situation because conflict resolution is always easier if everyone involved is open and honest about how they truly feel be honest first with yourself and don't shy away from the truth and i know it's scary but still this is the greatest gift you'll give yourself number 6 set healthy boundaries setting boundaries is one of the most important parts of healthy human connection regardless of whether it is again a friend a parent a partner any family member significant other or a colleague again we are not taught how to set healthy boundaries we made a whole series on setting healthy boundaries because we all need to learn how to protect ourselves and keep our relationships as sustainable as possible and you have to do that work you can clearly state your needs you can clearly learn to set healthy boundaries and let your loved ones know in an honest and respectful manner let me give you an example if your colleague is demanding too demanding don't be afraid to put down your foot and ask for some personal space and we can help you with a script as to how to address this with your colleague number 7 reconnect with friends or family whether it is a friendship a work relationship a romantic one negative relationships can be very very isolating and detrimental for our well-being the more isolated you are the harder it is to have perspective on yourself or to see alternatives to handle your crises or difficulties although a bad relationship can strain your other relationships however spending time with people who have known you for a long time who believe in you even if that's one person it will help you reconnect with your core with yourself and your core values So if you're going through a difficult phase seek out people whom you respect who you look up to you trust even if you've been out of touch for them do this 
let them know that you miss and value their friendship and maybe by talking to them you will get another perspective you will feel better about the situation spending time with others can help you feel accepted and supported and remind you of your strength number 8 no when to leave not all relationships are meant to last forever while this can be a difficult truth to sometimes accept especially when it comes to our loved ones understanding the importance of leaving a destructive relationship is the ultimate i believe act of self love and self care you can't reach your full potential if you're stuck in a relationship that is constantly draining your energy is depleting you and prevents you from your growth from your development from you doing your best or you finding joy have the courage to cut ties with toxic individuals and focus instead on repairing your relationship first with yourself you can try grey rocking for a short period or specific instances but this technique is not a long term situation this can be more difficult even in work relationships i have noticed and i've gone through many experiences that i've cut off with few people but it's still possible i'm here to tell you to set those healthy boundaries and even reach out to let's say your hr for help because there are red flags even at the workplace and red flags in a relationship whether at home or at work need to be addressed and you have to do that work it doesn't matter if it's a romantic relationship or a new relationship with let's say a colleague knowing how to identify red flags now that you know is important so i need you to be mindful do you see any red flags in your current relationships do tell us in comments below how you plan to fix this because we believe in you and we are rooting for you and we are here for you also which techniques you found most useful until then keep smiling keep shining keep inspiring stay tuned for more